Hey everybody, it's Chris. I'm a visual anthropologist here at cut.com and we're back with more 100 Years of Beauty. Today we explored a place that we described as Israel and as Palestine. I think no other project brings more controversy, um, more complexity, and more sensitivity than any of the projects I think we've done so far. First of all, I want to say there is no way that we are at all qualified to comment on or make definitive statements about a two-state solution, about Israeli settlements. Nobody has asked us to make uh, that commentary and we're not qualified to do it. What we can do is explore how different and plural claims to political sovereignty are articulated through women and young girls' personal preferences, tastes, styles, and fashions. Zionism refers to a movement where Jewish people in the diaspora want to return to Israel to claim territory for a sovereign Jewish state. Arab Palestinians also have claim to a sovereign Palestinian state. Okay, so it's in this moment um, that we begin to see the emerging tensions between these two groups of people. It's not necessarily a religious conflict, although it takes upon that dimension later. It really is about conflicts over territory. So it's not until 1947 and 1948 that the British decide that it's time to pack up and leave and in the process divide up this parcel of land into two territories, um, one that's supposed to be a Jewish state and one that's supposed to be an Arab state, even though in reality, if we think about the demography, um, there are Jewish people and Arabs living in both places. Right? So we see this mass migration of people and political refugees at the start of the Arab-Israeli conflict in 1948. In our research, what we continue to find over and over again for both the Jewish women and for Arab-Palestinian women in this area is a kind of aestheticization of war and armed conflict. We find numerous pictures um, from all kinds of state actors, legitimate or not, that have women holding guns, that have women in military uniforms, right? that glamorize and make sort of a fashion out of military engagement and an armed conflict. I think one thing we might be able to say is that in the quest for self-determination and sovereignty amongst Jews and amongst Arabs, that in this place it has taken upon a really radical militaristic dimension. We were really fortunate enough to have had so many people around the world collaborate with us in the production and the research of this video. So we have our researchers here at home, and we also have a lot, a lot of help from people in Israel, in Palestine, in the diasporas of both the Jewish international community and the international Palestinian community. One thing that I think everybody we consulted with shares is a, um, a sense that we approach this project with as much ethical sensitivity as possible to understand the very real pain and hurt that some of these images produce for people out in the world. And then B, to use this project to think about hybridity instead of the narratives of division and partition that saturate our understanding about Israel and Palestine. I think it's easy for us to all take a position on the question of Israel and Palestine, but it's a completely different project to look at women that might be on both sides of that partition and ask, when you go out into the world dancing with your friends, when you go shopping, what do you do? What does your ritual look like? We'll find that actually that young women want the same thing regardless of the situations they find themselves in. This is not to at all minimize the complexity or the particularity of individual people's experiences in this place, right? But to just say that beauty is a way that young people have always aspired to form their own individuality to navigate a world that's complicated, to find joy and delight in a world that's ugly and sometimes violent. We think of this video as just an entree for you. It's a jumping off point. We hope that instead of leaving this video with a feeling that we've taken a position on Israel and Palestine, that instead you are now invited into a discussion and to a conversation that's been happening and that there are plenty of women um, from both sides of this dispute who have incredibly interesting and provocative things to say and that those things are available and accessible to you. Um, and you should comment about them here in this video.